Thank you for joining us today. We are speaking about the Minus Soul Skin Care line with Dr. Nardo Zayas, world-renowned dermatologist. Doctor, can you tell us about some misconceptions about sunscreen? Well, uh, the sunscreen business has been uh, really permeated by bad marketing. Uh, but I would like to tell you how it is that you can tell from reading the label what a sunscreen is supposed to do. And incidentally, this is moderated by the Food and Drug, which uh, has not made it into law, but will shortly. The Food and Drug has made it very clear that everything that the sunscreen is supposed to do should be written on the label clearly. The number, which is so commonly uh, marketed as the greatest thing that uh, sunscreen does, in reality, should not be any more than 30, as 30 filters 97% of the UVB, and say 40 or 45 or 50 filters 97.2 or 3. So you see that the differences are not great. Uh, the other thing is that UVA is not measured by the number. UVA is measured, the amount of sunscreen protection you have is measured by black crosses or shortly they will be changed to black stars. If you notice carefully underneath the 30 plus, and the 30 plus means that this is more than 30, but by the standards of the food and drug, you can only market it as 30. There is a sign that says PA, which is protection ultraviolet A, and three black crosses. That means that it has the maximum sunscreen UVA protection allowed by food and drug. Every sunscreen should say the following words, water resistant, not waterproof or anything else. It's by FDA rules, water resistant. If it, if it says water resistant, it stays on your skin for 20 minutes. If it says very water resistant, it stays on your skin for 80 minutes. Anything else advertised as 4 hours, 8 hours is not accepted by the food and drug. So now you know that this sunscreen does the protection you need. Doctor, how does Minasol differ from other sunscreens? What makes Minasol the most characteristic and loved is the feel it has when it is applied to the skin. Also, the amount that you put on the skin is very less compared to other sunscreens. And here is the amount that you should have. It's a little bit. Then you rub it with all the hand and make it a mono layer, making sure that you spread it carefully. This will be remaining with your surface of the skin for 80 minutes. And what skin types can use these products? Well, by and large, this uh, sunscreen history has uh, changed a lot so from the early sunscreens that were very irritating to most skins to the present day sunscreens that are used for all kinds of uh, skin types, particularly Minasol, which is mostly physical agents that reflect the sun rather than chemical agents. Uh, you could use it for children six months or older. It really uh, is very rare to have an allergic reaction to minor, the ingredients of Minasol. Even acne patients can use the Minasol? Yes, even acne patients, as this does not leave a residue on the skin that plugs the uh, so-called pores or produces comedones or any other uh, uh, acne-like lesions that uh, you would normally see from the early days of sunscreen use. Well, thank you, Doctor, for, for spending some time with us and answering our questions about the Minasol products. Thank you, it's a pleasure being here.